Alan, good morning. Good to see you. Hi, Sarah. Thank you for having me. It's great to see you again. So you're talking to investors today. You're, you're in the middle of a transformation of, of the business. There's been some pressure to perform. Where are you in that process? Well, that's right. We've got 88 of our investors uh, right above where I'm standing now. We've been taking them through the progress that we're making on transforming the business. We've been busy the last three or four years. First of all, we've uh, reinstilled an appetite for basic operational excellence in the company. Secondly, we've done quite a lot of portfolio transformation. We sold out of uh, slower growth categories like spreads and tees and acquired into things like luxury beauty and health and well-being. Thirdly, We've got a very clear strategy on where we're going to invest by geography, by category, by channel. And just earlier this year, we radically simplified the organization of Unilever. So the, the theme of today's investor event is that we're ready to invest. It's time to step up the investment in, in the business. You talked a lot about portfolio management there, and, and we're looking at some of your brands, household brands, food brands. There's a report today that, and, and this has been going on for years, we've been speculating about this, that you're looking to sell out the U.S. ice cream brands, Klondike and, and Breyers. Are, are you acting more aggressively on that front? Could be a multi-billion dollar deal here. I think, I think you answered the question, didn't you, Sarah? People have been speculating for years um, about these businesses, and we obviously wouldn't comment on any particular uh, rumor one way or another. But it is true that we've been taking decisive action on the slow growth parts of the portfolio not just spreads and tea, but some of our slower growing brands in, in other parts of the world, because it is as important as we acquire into high growth spaces. It's very important that we uh, get rid of businesses that are, would be better run by someone who's less focused on growth than Unilever is. So a, lot of, a lot of people are wondering what's changed, Alan, since Nelson Peltz joined the board and, and whether this is this is like Procter & Gamble say, in a few years from now, where, where there was a real transformation that was sped up in that company toward higher performance? Um, yeah, well, Nelson is a very valued member of our board. He brings a lot of uh, experience on the consumer sector. Uh, quite frankly, he's a pleasure to deal with and have around the table. And like the rest of our board, he's very supportive of the strategy that we are uh, embarking on, uh, shifting our portfolio being really focused on operational discipline. And one thing that Nelson doesn't like is matrix organizations. And that's what we had until uh, the middle of this year. And we've been working for two, three years now on this major change that we put in place. And it seems to be unlocking faster decisions, more category domain expertise, and uh, higher accountability in the business. Um, as I have been known to say, I've got five throats to choke. At the moment, it feels more like five backs to pat. Uh, that's especially important as we go into a period where probably the consumer is going to be feeling a bit more pressure in the coming quarters than she has in the last few quarters.